Goo -goo, boo -goo. Hello friends, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So what are we gonna learn today? With all of these supplies. So I'm getting a clue that it's something including numbers and letters. What could that be? And some balls. I don't know what you can do. Can you guess? Yes! If you said numbers, you are correct. We are talking about numbers. As you know we're talking about numbers, I'm going to use these letters to spell them out. And with these beautiful colored balls, as you can see, I'm going to represent the number. And what are these flat craft sticks for? Ah, now I get it. We're talking about Roman numbers. And Roman numbers are from the Latin alphabet. They're made from that. And these were invented in the old, very old time, ancient Rome. So, let's get started. Let's start with number one. So here's one to represent one. Here's the spelling of one, O-N-E-1. -E here we got number one in the Roman numbers. And here we got one, which is the number one. So let's go on to number two. So now we're on number two. So here we got two balls to re represent number two. And we got the spelling of two, T-O, T-W-O actually. And here we got the Roman number two, one, two. And here we got the number two to represent number two. Great. Now, let's get on to number three. Here we got number three. One, two, three. And we spell it out. T H R E E. So here we got our sticks, or the Roman number way. One, two, three. And here we got the number three to represent, of course, number three. Now, number four. So here we got number four. One, two, three, four. And we spell it F-O-U-R, F-O-U-R. And here we got the Roman number four. Wait, and here we got number four to represent, of course, number four. Now let's go on to number five. So here we got number five. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the spelling of five. F-I-V-E, five. So here we got the Roman number four. Looks like V for victory. And here we got the number five, plain. To represent number five. So now we got number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here's how we spell six. S-I-X, six. And here's the Roman way of saying six. And here's number six. When you look at it backwards, it looks more like number nine. But now we're on number seven. We got number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's how we spell seven. S E V E N. Seven. And here's the Roman number seven. As you know, this is five, right? And then we add two ones, and you guys better know. Five plus two equals, you know it, seven. And here we got number seven to of coarsely represent number seven. Now number eight. So here we got number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we spell eight, E 
I G H T. Eight. Here's the Roman number eight. So here we got our five, six, seven, and an eight. Five plus three equals eight. So here we got our number eight to represent number eight, of course. Now, number nine. So here we got number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here we got the spelling of nine. N-I-N-E, nine. And here we got the Roman number nine. So can I tell you one fact? So X actually means 10. So if you put this one behind, it will be nine. But if you put this one in front, it will be 11. And here we got number nine to represent number nine. So here we got 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here's the spelling of ten. T E N. Ten. Here we got number ten, as I told you at number nine. And here we have number ten to represent, of course, number ten. Thanks for watching and also show your support by subscribing my channel and also following me on Facebook and Instagram. Bye bye!